Salinas de Gortari may be an excellent man. I do not know him very well. The political, no one does. Not even himself. Just think, Salinas never run for any public office until becoming the free candidate of the president. Salinas was shot, chosen by the La Madrid for the same reason that President Echeverria chose López Portillo, which is the same reason used by the President Díaz Ordaz for selecting Echeverria. Deep in their hearts, the President serving in office have always chosen from their thing will better handle the country once they are out. We have corruption all in all the, the degrading forms, from our abuse of power to political dishonesty. We have inflation, recession, currency devaluation, unemployment, and let us not forget the millions of Mexicans who go to the United States to create persons to the personal risk in search of work, food, or money to support families which are indeed in desire to drive. We have an appealing fortune that we have all the the repugnant nobility of a dictatorship in the case, and yet we do not know. What do? Sorry for my bad English. I hope you will have understood. I do not think we even know what we want anymore. So, to the time, many Mexicans are hoping that President Calderon will give us the solution. We can also hope for Mana to fall from heaven. There is a terrible loss of confidence in the government. Many Mexicans think that Mexico is hitting tower socialism. But reality suggests that we are running directly tower cows. And in fact, that cows is a fertile ground for communism is something I will not deny. Now in Mexico, is he hiding, heading toward anything, then the proper name should be Totalista Elisa. I honestly do not know whether well, Mexico should be a socialist country, a capitalist country, a monarchy, a republic, or what? I like freedom, and I like love freedom. I know democracy has many handicaps, but I do not like totalitarianism under any guy, name, or creed. But what I think doesn't count. I would like to think in terms of more than one million people, many of whom have never tasted sugar, who never slept in a bed. We complain about the government, but we have a Mexican government, one which is made up of, of Mexicans and not forging or pop, puppet from another country. Our failure are strictly ours. In 1930, even after the revolution, the currency exchange rate was two pesos for, the, for one <coughs> US dollar. Today, we never know how much a peso is worth. Its value is declining by the minute. Our currency is just one in the many systems 
of education. I am certain there, be, there must be a way out, but I cannot see it. Maybe I am too close and enclosed by the crisis. I know we have oil. I know we have manpower, silver, even uranium. Yet what I see is too much government and an immense corruption perverting everything in its path. But I am most conscious of the fact that the people of my country are a great people who suffer because a mafia got into power and does have not found the way to become the great republic our forefathers thought and died for. Will you please give me some ideas? Will you please think of what will happen to the United States if there is a civil war in Mexico or if Mexico should become a Cuba before or after Castro, a photo <coughs> perhaps, a military dictatorship, an Iraq or Afghanistan. A major country divided into North Mexico and South Mexico, like North and South Korea, a Chile under Allende or under Pinochet. Think about it, write about it, but do not forget Mexico. Thank you, thank you very much for listening to me. I thank you. Thank you.